Well, so, and it's good that we're having these great reflections with Sabuki coming in with a spoken word and that great interaction. And it's the words. It's the words that make powerful the cultural arts of Africans and not only those on the continent but those in the diaspora. And that's why this year, designated as the Year of Return, has been so successful. It has brought together many Africans, not only in the diaspora but across the world, into Ghana to connect with your roots. The Year of Return has been dominated by many arts and entertainment events across board. But beyond these related fields, visiting all the slate dungeons, whether it could be in Cape Coast, Elmina, uh, and then all the related things should all unite Africans in the diaspora with Ghanaians. Should it or should it not? Now, my next guest in the studio is Pierre Christophe. Now, he is connecting all the dots, etc., and trying to put together a great event to make sure that all these come into place. And I have to say that uh, he's here, Christophe, Pierre Christophe. Thank you. All right. And um, I love some greater artists. Uh, the, the, there's one who is of uh, African descent as well, but I think he's half breed as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he's called uh, Gome or Stomi. Gome or Stomi. Is it? Do you have a Stomi? Uh, Stomi. Stomi. S T O. Uh, okay. In France? Yes, France. Stormy. Tall, fair guy. Ah, Stomi. Ah, Stomi Begzi. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you like French hip hop? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. A lot of it. <laughs> okay, Begzi. so, but in the meantime, I have to say that Kwaba. It's, Thank a, you very it's much. not your first time in Ghana, no, is it? No, it's not. It's not. I have like a six month visa this time. Ah. I think next time they're going to give me. A yeah, we even give long day. stay. Hey, Charlie Ghana, <laughs> we're coming of age. But uh, w w what has made uh, the, the year of return quite success successful, you think? Um, I think that the year of return is successful this time because there is, uh, I think, Africans, we are at a shifting, a shifting time moment uh, in the journey of the African diaspora. Um, and that now we're all ready to move forward. And I think the way we are looking at the past is that now it's time for us to reboot, um, you know, the understanding of what the legacy of the last 400 years and for us to project ourselves strongly in the future. So I believe this is why there was such a strong excitement. Mm. And, 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 and you, you are in town to put together a great event. Uh, you yes. call it... So it's Choba la de la Fist. fist. Yeah. So it's Choba la Fist. Choba de la Fist, yes. <laughs> so it's an uh, immersive uh, art de diner series. Okay. Um, and the purpose of the, of the event is to explore the legacy of the last 400 years. See. And at the same time, considering what will Africa look like 400 years away from now. Yeah. So it's an event that is designed around food. Uh, so there's going to be a dialogue with an African-American chef coming from New York, Mitchell Bonhomme, who's been working with, you know, mm. cooking for yeah. Oprah and It's other good that you're French because your, your cuisines are just... Exquisite. Ex yeah. But here what we're doing, we're exploring African gastronomy, so yeah. African-American food ways. Mm. And one of the fascinating things is that when you look at today uh, current African-American dishes, you see a lot of similarities exactly. with dishes in Africa today. Exactly. Because obviously when people were deported from Africa, they left with a culture, with the tradition and with the religion. And food was a strong component of that. Uh, and so this is the basis of the, of the experience. So we're looking at the relationship between the relation between African dishes and, mm. West, and, mm. and West African cuisine. Um, and on the back of that, we're going to have an extensive conversation looking at the legacy of the last 100 years mm. and considering the future of Africa moving forward. Yeah. And so each night will be hosted by a guest host. So we're having Opal Tomichi, who is the co-founder of uh, Black Lives Matter. Opal Tomichi. Opal Tometi. Opal Tometi. Uh, she's going to be hosting the evening on the 30th. Mm -hmm. We're having Hugo Mozi, who is an international celebrity stylist, creative yeah, yeah, art director, yeah. who's worked for the likes of Beyonce, um, Justin Bieber, Celine Dion, and so forth. It, um, it, if, if you tend to look at the works um, that a lot of Africans in the diaspora have done, mm -hmm. uh, whether third generation or from the initial generations mm -hmm. of slavery, etc., mm -hmm. there seem to be this disconnect with um, the lives of those who are also of same descent in Latin America. Mm -hmm. uh, apart because we tend to... You, you think a disconnect or it, connection? It, no, the dis in terms of we don't tend to draw them in more mm -hmm. because maybe the language, you mm -hmm. know, they are more Spanish-speaking, etc. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the roots, the Caribbean the and etc. Is, is uh, how do we hope that by doing this event, yes. we will then look subsequently to such years where the event will be convened to it. connect. Yes. Yeah. 
So in the context of the event, some of them, because people are coming from Brazil, they're coming from Cuba, ah. yeah. and obviously in the US, you have a lot of ah. African Americans. This is of, beautiful. You know, Latino. You know. Yeah, yeah, Latino. So descendant of yeah. enslaved Africans who were shipped to the US, to uh, Latin America. Mm. Um, to me, the idea of the dinner is that you know when the family meets together again, mm. what is the first thing you do? Exactly. You come together and you share meal. Exactly. So that's why the experience is organized around the idea of a meal, a banquet, and it's called the love feast oh. because by sharing food is an act of, as well as sharing love. Mm. Um, and I felt that you know in the context of that moment, historical moment, because as much as I think, you know, there is a lot of events that are being programmed, but most of them are just for entertainment <laughs> parties. And there's one thing that it shows that as Africans, or the world over, we are best positioned to turn up, <laughs> we create culture. But I believe that in a moment like that, it's important to create forums where we can come together and we can reflect meaningfully on the legacy of the past, but at the same time, more importantly, to project ourselves moving forward. So this is the legacy of the last 400 years. And what will be the conversation about Africa 400 years from now is understanding that we are the one that will be defining it and creating And we're it using this today. event, even though it's food, to bring everybody together around the table. Because the, the whole purpose of the food is to create a space where people can meaningfully interact and reflect. So I see that as the first ideas in the show. I was looking at maybe creating it as a kind of um, you know, so in West Africa, in Francophone West Africa, in Mali, we have this space called uh, the Toguna. Mm. So the Toguna is the, the, the place where the community gather and meet mm -hmm. to reflect on meaningful ideas, solve problems in the community and so forth. So the, to me, the way I thought about it, this is a gathering space, but the center of it is actually done with food. And to me, I thought that food was powerful because, you know, when people had been deported for some time, there was this idea that, um, you know, the culture Africa was lost. Okay. And that the culture that they had today was just an hybrid. And by looking at these two foods once next to each other, you see that the African essence actually never disappeared. So if you want to connect with this, do you have social media handles? Or yes, yes. We can so uh, people can book the ticket on the website, which is www.pierre, P-I-E-R-R-E. -R -R -E. French Pierre. Yeah, Pierre, French Pierre. Then there's a little thing, Ifen, mm. Christophe, C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E mm -hmm. com. Uh, and then they can go on my uh, Instagram page, which is pierre.christophe.gam, my surname, and they will find all of the information ah, on it. Thank you very much, Pierre. Thank I've enjoyed the much. conversation. I'll try also to do some reconnection, even though I'm here, not and in and the dance. And you're invited to the dinner. Sharp, room. sharp, sharp. Well, we're all together. If you get to know what food is and how it's prepared, whether it's the Caribbean, Latin America, or South America, and you get to know that the ingredients and sometimes the food that we taste are always the same. I watch them a lot on YouTube and it's exclusively ours alone that we can enjoy. Well, we hope that we can take the conversation forward, but next we have to wrap up with some great entertainment as well. Stay with us.